This is video number three in our series of working with databases via Delphi. Um, and we're going to be looking at how do we find one record. When we're looking for information in the database, how do we find one, only one particular record or the first record in something. And for that, we're going to be using the locate method. For this, we're going to be using our TBLCD, which is our ADO table in the example we've been using in the series. And as I said, we're going to be using the locate function. Now, when we're using the locate function, there are three parameters that it needs. The first is the name of the field in some sort of string format. So which field are we looking in? For example, are we looking in the artist field? Are we looking in the CD name field? Where are we looking for the information? Then the second parameter is what we're looking for in that field. So maybe we're looking for the band called Muse in the artist field. So the second parameter is what value we are looking for in the field mentioned in the first parameter. The third parameter is a little bit tricky because you can leave it out as just two square brackets, but if you don't want to, the two values that you can put in there are LO case insensitive and LO partial key. What that basically means, if LO case insensitive means that it's case insensitive, okay? So that you don't, it doesn't matter if you type in capitals or not. The LO partial key means if you type in the first few letters of a particular item that you're looking for, let's say you want to find the muse in the artist field. If you just type in the and do the locate, it will find the first record that starts with those letters, even though it's not the full name of it. Now, you can call the locate function just like it is, and it will go to the record. If you don't find it, it will just stay where it is. But what's nice is you can use this locate function in a if statement, in an if statement, and then if it, that locate returns true, then you know that that record was found, and if it was false, then you know that it was not found. So there you can see an example of looking for the word muse in the artist table, and that's an example of how you can leave the last parameter as a blank. So here's our example from the previous videos. We, as you can see, we are working with a CD database and we have the data module over here and we're gonna be interacting with this ADO table on DMCD, that's the name of the data module, and TBLCD is the table that we are interacting with, which has been connected at the top, as you can see right at the top, we have a connection between this unit and that data module, so we have access to all those components. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to write find one record and I'm just going to find the muse in the artist. Now there could be multiple muses, oh, that could be interesting, multiple muse um, in the artist, but it will find the first one. So let's say, for example, let's actually use CD name. That might be a better option because they're more unique. I know there is a CD called Smash. So let's go find. Okay, so what I've done, we can ignore that for now. We'll use that for the later example. All I'm going to do is say, in an if, let's just use the locate, dmcd dot, so that's the data module, so we want to access the table, ADO table on that data module, dot locate. And then in brackets, we need the three parameters. The first parameter is which field we're looking in. I want to look in CD name. Remember the underscore must be spelled exactly the same as what the field name is in the database. What am I looking for in there? I'm looking for the word smash. And then my last parameter is just these square brackets open and close. Now I can call my locate just like that. And if I run it and I click on it, it will move to the record which has that particular CD name. So there we go, it works. I found the first one. However, if that name was something completely not in the database, so there's no CD with that name, well, hopefully there isn't, because that would be a very weird CD. You'll notice when I click on find record, it doesn't move. And that can be a problem because you won't know whether it was found or not. So that is why we like to use the locate in an if statement. And all you have to do is say, if the locate, then if that equals true, then we know that we found what we were looking for. And we can then show a message here, say found. Yeah, terrible spelling found. And if it's false, so we can use an else here as well. Else we can say show message not found, which is a string, so we must put them in quotes. 
So there we go. So now if we don't find it, it should say not found. And if it finds it, it should say found. So we know that that doesn't exist. So when I click on there, it did not find it and it didn't move. However, if we type in the word smash and we run it now, we should see that it does found it. And you can see that the pointer has moved to the appropriate place in the database. So another thing we can do, as you can see, we've got this variable here, which is getting whatever the user types in there. So let's pretend we want to type in there what, what we were looking for. So instead of the word smash, I'm going to use this variable called sfind. Makes it a little bit more robust. So we can type in exactly what we want to look for. So over here, we can let's type in the word smash and find record, it will move to the appropriate one. Um, so there we go. If I'm looking for the number 10, find the record, it will move to the appropriate record called 10. So that's quite nice. Also, the nice thing is when you move to a particular record, you then can access those particular fields because the pointer is at that point. To access a field, I'm just going to write it on the side here. You access it by saying DMCD, you refer to the, the data module, then the table that you're referring to and then square brackets and then inside the square brackets in a string you write down the name of the field so let's say this program was trying to find out the artist who the artist was of the record that we're looking for so that's how you access that particular value in the field of wherever the pointer is so in this case it's going to return a string so if i just show message the artist here before I do the locate this is before I do the locate and you'll notice if it runs perfectly when I click on this button it's going to before it does the locate it's going to do a show message you see it shows LL Cool J because we are at the first record that's where the pointer is and then it doesn't find anything because we didn't put anything in there so if I move this show message, or if I use that value inside the locate, now we know that the when it finds a record, it will move to the appropriate record, and we have access to all those fields. So I can say that it was found, and the artist for this CD is, and then I can add on that particular field because it's a string field. If it was a value field like an integer or real, we would have to do convert it, like replacement value, for example. If you look there, replacement value is a number, we would have to do some sort of conversion. But in this case, we found it, and we can say who the artist is by accessing the artist field where the pointer is now. So let's run it. We're going to type in smash. I don't know why I keep using this example. Find the record. So you'll notice the pointer moves to the appropriate record. And then this message will pop up and it moved across to the artist and accessed the name of the artist and there you can see it displayed. So what we've learned here is two things. We've learned how to do a locate, but also how to access a particular value in a field wherever that pointer is. So those are the two key elements to this video. So when we use a locate, just to recap, we still access the data module and the ADO table, but we use the locate method. And we put in brackets the three the three things that we need is first the field that we're looking in. So whatever the name of the field is, so genre or scene name or artist. Then we what we are looking for in that field. So what value are we looking for in that field? Maybe we want to find um, the boy named Goo CD name. And then in the next parameter is two square brackets. You can have LO case and set to the LO partial key, depending if you want those particular specifications. And if that is a true, then we know that it was found. And we can then write code to do whatever we want to do if we find that particular record. And we will know that the pointer will be at that record. So that's why I can access things like the artist name of that record and so on. However, if the locate is false, then it will return um, this part, it'll be, you can then do things like showing a message that it was not found. So there we go. You should have found this video useful because we used the locate to find it. So 
If you want to find more videos on databases in Delphi as well as other Delphi related videos, you can go to our YouTube channel as well as like us on Facebook and see our Twitter account. Also, we have a website where we display some of the videos in some sort of layout that's nice to follow. But all the details are there, so follow us, go find the videos, so get more information. We hope that they are useful to you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.